G'day, this is Captain, I'm not an anime noob, and this is the Aquila laser rifle. This is a standalone, semi-highly customizable uh, energy type weapon that uses the plasma rifle animations, and it looks pretty friggin' awesome right off the bat, which is nice. Getting into its attachments here, first of all we've got the condensers, we can change that from original to boosted, and that'll give us better um, ammo consumption and better damage, which is good. Now for this, the barrels here, you can actually have an automatic barrel, which we'll go ahead and chuck on for a different one, but this one will be our sniper one, so we'll uh, just chuck the improved sniper barrel on it. Now you can change the laser battery, and also it'll change the color of the beams, you can have a red one, and a... Uh, laser blue one which um, makes your beams very fat and blue which is nice it also does a little bit more damage and for all the scopes no need to go over the four times thing that should be fine and there's also damage multipliers if you feel like this thing isn't quite doing it for you which uh, we might touch a little bit later on but uh, for now we'll just leave it as is now you can actually change the reticule of uh, this thing here so it's actually there's a lot to uh, sort of uh, look at here but I like the Russian one because it reminds me of my days in Battlefield when I used to play that. Now, you can actually chuck this thing with a legendary effect on it, which is actually kind of good. Now, for a sniper rifle type weapon, we probably want to find something like instigating, but we've got nothing like that. And since this thing is not going to be hitting as hard, we're going to, we're going to want to get those uh, guaranteed headshots, so we'll chuck on the VATS enhanced effect for that. Now, you can actually change the color of this thing. The broken glass thing looks pretty friggin' awesome to me. Dirty one is just a standard one, but it's a little bit dirty, makes it a little bit darker. You've got the Hellfire one, and then you've got the worst one imaginable. That's awful, I'm never going to put that on. We'll chuck the broken glass one on because that looks pretty good. Now, for the modules here, you can have a basic module, which is what we've got right now. Gamma module will add a little bit of our radiation damage. Ionized module will add fire damage, but it reduces your damage a little bit. And the modulated one will actually make your um, uh, bullets explosive, which... Um, Takes out the laser part of the laser rifle, but whatever. This thing should be fine just with, let's say, let's add a little bit of radiation damage to this. Why not? Okay, that adds a little bit of uh, energy damage as well, so it looks like it's good. Anyways, that is what you can get. There's no um, option to have an uh, actual legendary slot there. There's only these ones where they choose for you. But yeah, that should be fine. We'll take this into Gunners Plaza as well as an automatic one, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, here we are in Gunners Plaza, and this is the Aquila laser rifle in first person. Definitely looks pretty good. And in third person, it looks good there also. This thing is a quite a large weapon, which means it's not going to look completely out of place in the hands of uh, players in power armor, which is pretty good. Anyways, we've got our gunners lining up down range there, so let's get stuck into them, shall we? What? Yeah, so um, right off the bat, this thing isn't doing great damage. Um, granted, it doesn't have to take time to charge every shot, um, but it's still... The damage is only uh, not enough to kill these guys uh, properly, so we're going to have to probably do this in bats primarily because it's just how we uh, the best way you can get damage out for this weapon that's why i chucked on the um bats enhanced effect there and as you can tell with the use of bats it makes it a little bit easier to just take them out like that good thing is that it works with the uh sniper effect there and makes them easy to knock down there and disarming the threat is a good idea when your weapon really can't compete with their weapons so that's an added bonus to its uh, scope and uh, semi-auto ability. Right, now, I'm just going to conscript in here. Can't even one-shot you, that's unfortunate. We'll press on anyway. We'll go ahead and start shooting crits into their faces and see how well we do there. Not great. I think one of, this thing, one of the things this uh, weapon needs is a little bit of a buff. Although it may be more balanced against lower level enemies and at lower difficulties because obviously Fallout 4 is cheap when it comes to difficulties and uh, yeah, I've sort of changed my mind about it. Um, in the past I've actually said that weapons should be tested or at least balanced for very hard difficulty but that's bullcrap because very hard difficulty in and of itself is just a stupid difficulty and I would not recommend playing it. Um, just get the legendary gear that you would get from the higher difficulties from mods and leave it at that. Play on normal, it's a lot more fun, a lot more balanced, and if you want to get more of a little bit of a challenge in your game, 
just get a ring that makes you take more damage and yeah that that makes it a little bit more harder and a little bit more interesting sometimes while playing on survival that works too right so we'll switch over to our automatic one this one's got the hellfire um, paint on it it also fires the red beams and whilst it does a little bit less damage well I've uh, added plus 25 percent damage to offset this so it should be a little bit more effective now I've got this thing with a reflex sight, it can barely see through it unfortunately, but it seems to be going well regardless. Now the ammo capacity on this isn't as great as you'd find a laser rifle in the regular game, but the reload and the, yeah, the reload's a little bit faster I suppose, which is nice. And it's nice and easy to keep on target there. I'll just come out of crouching and see if we can see through the scope properly. Not really. Okay, it's a little bit difficult, but there's Captain Bridget, we'll just go ahead and shoot her in the face a little bit. Now I've got the, I think it's the ionized uh, modulator on this thing, so that way we are actually getting a little bit more flamey damage, and I thought that'd just suit the color of it, but obviously that flamey damage is doing next to nothing. I'll have that, thank you very much. Okay, so we're probably nearing into Nerd Rage Zone here, and that'll increase our damage output, so hopefully they'll just damage me enough to trigger that there we go all right now we can actually see this thing a little go a little bit better there if i can actually manage to hit my targets yeah it's a little bit better but obviously the way you're going to want to play this as with most weapons that uh, don't really have the damage uh, capabilities to hold up is just to spam them in bats like that and that is how you do it quickly hit fire that dude and what have we got over here just another lieutenant well now you're dead and I'm glad I really took Bridget's gun off because if one of them had to grab it, I would probably be dead right now. Right, go ahead and sneak up on this bloke here and fill him up full of laser beams and now he is dead. And that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure you get the idea of this weapon now. It's not going to be the hardest, heaviest hitting thing in the world, but uh, in terms of aesthetics, if you're that kind of, kind of a player in this game, yeah, this thing definitely passes that. The animations line up pretty well. Obviously, the weapon was built around them. I'm pretty sure this uh, creation is an original weapon. It's not from any other game, so it earns points for originality there, which is brilliant. I do rather enjoy mods that actually do something different or new, which is great. Right, I will finish off these turrets. I think I killed the other one before, and there you have it. That was the Aquila laser rifle in uh, Gunners Plaza there. Not very good against high-level gunners on a high-end difficulty, so uh, couldn't recommend it there, but I'm going to take this to a workbench and we're going to improve it a little bit. Okay, so today we're not going in Felon's apartment store because we've seen that quite enough times already. Instead, we're going to snipe some super mutants around here. This is the Far Harbor DLC just outside the hotel place. So let's get stuck into these super mutants, shall we? So first off, oh, good shot there, me. And yeah, even with this thing with the plus 100% damage on it, we're only doing 100 uh, damage to him per shot there which is obviously not good enough I'm gonna piss that mine off just because it'll trigger my vats all the time so to that end I've just gotten the uh, lucky effect on this now so we'll be able to do a little bit better whilst crit spamming now for the automatic version instead of um, having that do not a lot of damage I've chucked the uh, the explosive modulator on it I'm not sure what the name was but uh, yeah now it's explosive, which is totally okay to do because the, the mod actually gives you that option to do so. You know what? I'm fine with that. All right, there's another super mutant warlord over there. We'll just go ahead and sneak attack crit him along with a that's crit there. And he's almost about half health, which is pretty good. Only problem is we won't be able to keep up that damage forever. But that, oh, that was a little bit of a delayed reaction to sniper there. But yeah, yep. Just keep him pinned down with sniper. Kept us out of harm's way there. Although we are definitely being ah that was a lesser super mutant obviously we got him in one shot and now we're being attacked by a doggo and all of the other super mutants up there are bound to be uh detecting us right now so we'll just go ahead and play the ranged game with them now if i'm lucky i can get them to rag the old sniper off the building that would be kind of cool oh on the bridge yes yes on the bridge damn it not quite although he's still standing in a spot could you just fall down Nah. But we managed to get a couple more sneak attack crits on him while he was up there, so at range this thing is going to do you well. 
Now, it's not really that much of a point to say this, but uh, yeah, this thing is obviously, since it's a laser beam, it's like a hit scan weapon, which um, will probably apply more to uh, New Vegas weapons because all the bullet firing weapons actually have bullet travel time in them rather than just being hit scanned. So, yeah, not much to say there, but it does help out with sniping a little bit, which is uh, good for this. The only problem with the explosive one is that you lose all the laser beams once you actually get that going and that is just destroying him there. There's probably no reason not to use this thing, but for the uh, sniper's sake, we'll just keep on going there. I still enjoy having a good sniper weapon even though this thing is blatantly underperforming on this difficulty, but that's fine. Maybe if there's a lesser super mutant around, we could probably kill them easily enough. That bloke sitting down or standing up with his super sledge, but he's only got a sledgehammer, so we're free to just keep on shooting at him for as much time as we want. We just backpedal away from him. That is one of the reasons why super mutants are sometimes just annoying tanky bullet sponge dudes that really don't uh, give the players any threat because unlike Fallout New Vegas they don't book it at you they just sort of run at the speed at which you can backpedal so um, yeah the super mutants in Fallout New Vegas were definitely done better in my opinion and plus there's more of a reason for them to be there rather than oh we need super mutants in our game quickly let's make up a story on how these did it Granted, the uh, Institute making the super mutant thing in the first place was actually a good sort of storytelling thing to uh, tell you how how fucking monstrous the Institute are, how screwed up in the things they are. Just, you know, technology run amok, brotherhood uh, memes and stuff. Okay, I'm going to ditch this sniper rifle now because it is not working. Instead, we'll just go straight over to our explosive one and then we can kill people so much easier and the frame rate was like nah I'm gonna bug out for a second but we got it all right since these guys are all super mutant warlords this is definitely punching above the sniper rifles weight considering that it did struggle that much against uh, the uh, gunners and gunners plaza which are significantly less tanky but yeah we'll try to ah oh, there you are can I get a shot on you from there nope we'll just use vats we seem to be able to Hit them pretty reliably from this range so yeah a pretty good accurate weapon in that all in all now can't really uh, see you there we have to sort of bait them out I think keep tapping that bats button make sure oh they're in caution just gotta pull them out somewhere come on now I'm on the roof how did I get up here probably console commands but you couldn't see that I edited that out right now, just one more to go, and there you are. And down these super mutants go with, uh, I think I did the most damage to myself on that occasion. But yeah, there you have it. That was the Aquila laser rifle, and it is a pretty good weapon in terms of aesthetics. But in terms of performance, it leaves a little bit to be desired. So if I was the modder here, I'd just boost it up a little bit, make it semi-viable. Because right now it's suffering from the uh, laser rifle disease of they are not very good past the mid-game. Unless you put explosive on it, which um, you can't actually get with the vanilla laser guns in this game but yeah um, still a pretty fun weapon to use indeed and I really wish it did have a little bit more punch in it so I could use the sniper a little bit more without having to uh, complain about it too much so uh, if you'd like to see these weapons in your game be sure to check out the description also the cool blue lasers who doesn't get bored of that yep be sure to check out the description there and if you want this particular character to be a companion in your game oh he's looking a bit dirty should probably have a shower there, yeah, then there will be a link in the description for that too. And if you'd like to see more of Winter and Far Harbor, then uh, be sure to check into One Hit Wonder. I've got the next episode recorded and rendered, and it'll be uploaded pretty much after this. Thank you for watching, guys.